Now let's talk about a curved plate which is moving in the direction of the jet. So this is a curved plate and it is symmetrical that is the angle and the exit are same. Your jet is striking it at a velocity of u and the plate is moving in that direction at a velocity of u. Okay, so this is the velocity of jet but the velocity of the jet striking the plate is v minus u. Okay, so it comes out at an angle theta and is tangential to the curve. So this is v minus u and this is also cos theta and this will be sin theta. Okay. So if you write down the mass flow rate, so mass flow rate is rho into A into V minus U. Okay. Now the change in the velocity change in the velocity this is the striking velocity is v minus u the striking velocity is v minus u and the velocity with which the jet is moving or you know exiting is v minus u cos theta but in the opposite direction to the incoming velocity so you will have minus of v minus u cos theta okay all right so this would become v minus u 1 plus cos theta this would become plus okay so the force which is exerted will become rho into a into v minus u whole square into 1 plus cos theta that is the force exerted by the jet onto the moving curved plate. So if I talk about the work done per second or the power, this would be force into the velocity of the plate. So you will have rho a u v minus u whole square into 1 plus cos theta watts. Okay, so this is the uh, you know case for a moving curved plate. So this is very very analogous to what you did in the stationary curved plate just you have this component coming in of u. Okay, so I hope you got these uh, concepts of stationary flat plates, moving plates, curved and flat both. Now after the numericals on the flat plates which are moving, let us have a look at the numericals on curved plates which are moving in the direction of the jet.